This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of all of our back here with a new game from my library, and well, it's time to fi finally play one of my favorite ta strategy RPGs of all times, and yes, I know that's nostalgia talking, because this game is probably not even on the grandstand uh, of, of strategy RPGs over the course of time, you know, like your Shining Forces and Final Fantasy Tactics or Tactics Ogre, Ogre Battle, and all these other games. No, it's... People are aware of it, but I'll admit it doesn't get as much love as it used to, because this game, I think, has it all. Great story, good soundtrack, I think relatable characters, good twists, and everything like that. And when it released, I think it got generally positive to mixed to positive reviews, if I remember for the most part. But before I start this, uh, whoops, before I start the uh, playthrough, I want to dedicate this uh, specific playthrough to two things. One, when Konami used to actually make good video games at once and not like pachinko machines and stuff like that that they do nowadays or disrespect their their develop uh, their uh game uh, developers and stuff like that but two the uh if you heard at the beginning of the game the the, the little ditty that was there at the beginning um it's to the voice actor the the lady who voiced the song here she does the the little beginning ditty and then she does the final song at the very end of the game and her name is let me see if i can get this right uh Zdranka Stokovic St Sojavkovic, I think her name is. A uh, Bosnian woman who is a... Uh, I think she was like an opera singer and stuff like that. But for whatever reason, she's not credited for for playing, uh, for doing this song for whatever reason. I don't even know how they got her to do this. Like, like was it just the... Was it just the English translation that got the song, not the Japanese one? I don't know everything about this game, despite being one of my favorite strategy RPGs. I'll admit I don't remember... I don't know everything about it. So, yeah, I thought I'd pull up the... Uh, I had to look up her name really quick to remember. So, so why is this game awesome? Well, there's a lot of things, but I think we should get to we should start the game first, and then we'll talk about it over the course of the game. Obviously, so let's begin Vital Hearts and see why I like this game so much. And it probably has one of my favorite opening scenes of all times. And I'm not talking about the cutscene at the beginning, but afterwards. But you'll know what I mean when we get to it. Sostagaria. For over a millennium, the fertile lands in the heart of this vast continent were ruled by the Holy Asha Dynasty, descendants of Toroa the Messiah. However, it is man's doom to forget. Amidst all the wealth and exotic pleasures, the nobility lost their way and sank into corruption and depravity, forgetting even the holy teaching of Toroa. It was in these days of unrest that the citizens, struggling under an oppressive regime, rose up and, under the leadership of Aris the Sage, took up arms against the kingdom. That was the first outbreak of violence in what would later be known simply as the revolution. The royal army's counterattack was swift and fierce, but time and time again they were put to flight by the cunning strategies of Aris and the indomitable will of the advancing Liberation Army.
victory in hand, the rebels set up a council and worked to establish the continent's first democracy. And so, the Republic of Ishtaria was born. However, Aris the Sage, whom all hoped would lead the country, mysteriously vanished and has not been seen again to this day. Now, 15 years later, the shadow of war once again threatens Ishtaria. Twelve fifty four at Gilbaris Island, Castle Ruins. I hope you all were paying attention to the beginning part. All the exposition dump right there. Now it it just sets up the world. That's what you have to do in fantasy. You almost have to exposition, otherwise you know, you know, how are you gonna figure things out? You know, what is this place? No, it looks like a shrine or something like that. Shrine of the Silver Monkey? Nah, that's a different thing. Ah, oh, hidden room. Hidden? Didn't have a door? So, I mean, I guess it could have been a hidden wall, but hmm, what's that? That looks like a blinking thing. Ah, PlayStation One graphics. Kind of use your imagination sometimes. <laughs> Although, man, the, the little, like, um, I mean, not the models look good, too, I think, for a PlayStation 1 game, but the little, like, caricatures. And they even have them doing little animations. As you can see, I have Magnus there. His eyes are blinking. Um, that'll happen a lot. I'll try to, like, not clip through, like, just skip through, or not skip through. Well, I wouldn't do that anyway. I'll try not to, like, quickly hit through dialogue a lot just to show you, like, little things like that. Like, there's a lot of work put into this, I think. Ah, that sparkles, so this must be it. Don't touch it! It's evil! These rays, what's happening? Man, what a way to start a chapter, man. By the way, this game is probably not going to be very long because I, I remember being, rel like, you could beat this relatively quickly. This is not going to be anywhere like Front Mission 3 long or, or Shining Force or anything like that. Like, I, I, I think you can beat this in under 10 hours, even less so if you know what you're doing. Um, Ash! Ash! I think that's who's supposed to be talking there. <laughs> now, this is the scene I'm talking about, which is one of my favorites, just because of... Playing this as wait when did this came out 1997 1998 so I was how old was I was that by that time I think I was just starting high school by that point I think or either first or my second year or whatever really into video games at this time and it was, it was definitely an influential time in my age Ash huh oh uh, sorry I was just thinking yeah you can see like the little blinks can't see it on the bottom guy but yeah you can see Ash or Ash blinking or whatever so well you better get up we've got some trouble. Oh, we'll surround, uh, what place do I want to give him? Oh, we're surrounded. I, I tried, uh, before I played this, to try to get the voices I wanted to go out of the way, but I didn't do that for everyone, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're trapped! Don't even know what this, uh, what this valley belongs to the fangs of Umbaba! What, did you pop up from Final Fantasy VI? Umbaba from that? No, I think is like a... It's either like a Russian witch, or... Or a creature from mythology, I think. 
They're just some dumb water peddlers. Ignorance is the root of misfortune, as they say. I didn't expect a bandit to say that. If you want to live, <laughs> don't hand over everything you got. Although we'll probably kill you right away, right, boss? <laughs> oh, you got that right. Hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Up oh, here it comes, folks. I mean, well, what do they got to do with this game? It's just a strategy RPG, maybe some crazy action, sword slicing. Nothing too bad will, will happen in this game. <laughs> too scared to talk, baby. Holy shit! What the? <laughs> where's, the st where's that stupid laugh now? Now you're the ones who are trapped. Who the hell are you guys? Ash Lambert, 3rd Platoon, Ishtarian Security Forces. Diego Renault, from the same. Clint Picard, likewise. Ash, how's your the Black Wind? Surrender quietly and we'll grant you quarter. Against only three? Kill them now! Yeah, f blood. Well, this game is rated in for mature, if you hadn't noticed at the beginning. There's blood in this game, so when you kill people, sprays of blood just pop out from the people. It's awesome. You don't get stuff like that anymore. Even if a game's mature, you don't get, like, that gratuitous violence or whatever. Now, should every game have that? Probably not. But uh, that's what I love about this game. So, yeah, like, all strategy RPG, well, a lot of them anyway, you've got... Uh, you got uh, square-based combat, so you can move in certain formations around the screen. You got a few options. Action moves, so you can attack. You can use items in your inventory, which we have healing herbs. Those heal, um, I think, 50 HP, if I recall. Um, there might be some variation of that. Done, if you want to finish your turn. Examine, you do that if you... This is one of those games that has, like, a... Um, um, whoops. Um, this is one of those games that has a... Uh, um, thing where you can check your environment and affect it in certain ways. Not every battle has that or is needed to do that. So one thing is that you can find secret items in each level. For example, this one has, uh, it's, for the most part, it's pretty easy to figure out when you need to check a spot, because usually the, the map makes a pretty obvious indication that you need to check it. As long as you see something that's out of the way and not common used assets, you should be able to find it. So this spot has something, and this spot has something. So not every map's going to have that, but a good deal of them will at least have one or two. I'll let you know, for the most part, what you need to do. Um, uh, okay, so we got all our heroes and characters here. Um, so, uh, how do I want to do this first? Oh, well, let me go over the, um, let's see. Oh, this game also has, really doesn't have much of a level grind system. Like, there's not, like, battles that you can just do just to level up, 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 up. So you have to do, like, little tricks and things, and you have to be aware of who you're fighting and so forth and so on. So probably one of the benefits of the, uh, one of the things about this game is you want to make sure to level everyone up pretty evenly for the most part. Um, uh, if you don't do it in certain moves, it's fine, or in certain areas, it's fine, as long as, uh, oh, um, no, I don't want to... See, do I want to do? Yeah, I guess we. The only problem is the uh, Clint can't kill a guy in one shot. Ash can, um, because of his level. He, well, he's got two things. He's got a level, and he's also got the, um, um, a weapon for him. As you can see, if you press, uh, I think in this case it's X, you can go over and check their uh, uh, skills and stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, he's level 5, he's got a long sword, while uh, Clint only has a short sword, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, a lot of these figures aren't going to... you don't have to worry about them too much, but, uh, you know, attack, defense, agility. Those are pretty much the only stats you need. Attack is for obvious damage, defense is how much you're going to block, and agility is, from what I understand, is how often you might block an attack. Um, there's really no way to really modify that for the most part. There's certain classes that are better at that than others, but yeah, there's really almost nothing to do about that. You just kind of e either block an attack or you don't, you know? Um, and for this, uh, for a lot of, oh, um, you also want to, you, if you want someone to take hits, it's better to have Ash get hit more often than, at least for the beginning fights, because uh, he has a spell called Fairy Light, 
which uh, what that does is let me see if I can actually click it. Okay, and I, I think I have to go to action to, to utilize that. Um, and it causes an MP cost of two, um, only self only, unfortunately. Um, that never gets better, but he can heal himself. So for the game having like not a ton of money, well, I mean, there's ways to get money, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, and it's a way to level up your character, but let's uh, actually play the game for a bit while we uh, do that. I probably should have had Ash. Um, oh, yeah, this thing also has a support system where. Um, if other characters are surrounding an opponent, you get a little bit extra damage to it as well. Um, this also has like a facing system as well. So obviously if you're facing from the front, um, every character weirdly enough has a chance to block. You don't have to have a shield. So Diego could block something. Um, even the wizards can as well. Um, which let me show you his stats there. He can't, uh, he's not as good at doing that obviously because of his agility 18. But he can do it. It is possible. And there's Clint. Yeah, he has a short sword, so his attack power is not as high as, as Ash at 30. That's why Ash can almost take... I think he can take out almost all these guys by himself. Um, anyway, if, when you're done with the turn, just uh, turn over. Yeah, the game doesn't automatically turn over for you, which is good, just in case you want to... You know, you're not sure of things. You can also save. Um, you can actually do two things. You can do... Um, you can do in battle save, obviously like front mission or whatever. You can reload that point in the map. I could save it right here and it reload to that. It's probably better to do that either at the beginning of the map or like a midway point or whatever. The other thing you can do is load, which you can load from the memory card, or you can lo load to the beginning of the map, which is a nice feature. So if you just, if someone dies or you didn't get the experience you wanted or whatever, um, then you can just reset it, um, which is good because like I said, you want to make sure not every battle, but you want to make sure you kind of even out your players. Um, but there are going to be certain characters that are going to um, level up more than others, that's for sure. But we'll get to that whenever we get to the story. Oh, I love the uh, the enemies turn music. This game has a... I think this game has a really great soundtrack. Like, and it doesn't have a lot of songs in it, but the songs that I do, I think, are pretty solid. Now, you probably wonder to yourself, why don't I just, like, kind of go out and attacking everyone? Well, you probably could. But the thing is, I want to actually try to... Every map, I'm going to grab every single item that you can get on the map, no matter what. Also, the... Let me see if I can... Um, let's see, I don't want to turn it over. The defeat of Zoot Gatch and Death of Ash. Uh, yeah, if you defeat Zoot, the game uh, the battle's over, which means you lose out on any cash you could have earned from the, from the enemy. So you want to make sure to earn as much money as you can, so that way you can fit your companions properly, as well as have enough money for like healing items and stuff like that. So that's going to be a big thing to... To worry about um, in the future so but if I want to make sure to get everything before Zoot Gatch is gotten I'm gonna have to um, basically move all the enemies in the direction I want um, which is gonna be over here because otherwise I mean you could still get it without it but you'd be separating your uh, allies and that's not such a good idea to do um, oh I probably could have healed with him he's got enough, well you he can heal twice um, yeah, you want kind of Ash to be in the front here when everyone's moving. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I just love the, the little beat that they have for... Usually some turns will... Uh, don't worry, you'll be hearing that tune a lot throughout the whole game, so... Um, yeah, these guys are kind of... Uh, let's examine this. Our first item, a longsword. Yeah, too bad we can't equip it during the fight, but we'll be giving that to Clint after this is over. Um, cause that way we can save our, some money. All right, and yep, pretty a lot of depending if you know what you're doing, turns are gonna go by pretty quickly. Well, at least in the early game, anyway. Now they're still going after Clint. I'm gonna have to use mirror maybe. Probably, yeah, I probably shouldn't have had a Clint get hit in the beginning, but oh well. Yeah, you probably want to have Ash uh, take out that first uh, bandit, but it's not gonna break the game or anything like that. My, my strategy is not like pretty, is not super dependent on certain f functions, if you know what I mean. Um, this isn't one of those games that, that you have to like, oh man, I have to be like perfect every time or whatever, otherwise I'm going to lose. Nah, you don't, have to, you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and leave Ash in front, even though I probably could, because I don't want Clint to be the target. Um, and this game doesn't really have a function like um, like other games where you can purposely like move characters into um or you can't like 
it's kind of weird to say, like, uh, um, like trying to get characters to hit, uh, enemies to hit certain characters, whatever. There's really no way to, like, influence that, really. Usually the game will try to, like, monopolize certain character hits. Like, if a person's weak, they're probably most likely going to hit them first um, out of everyone else. Um, I'll probably end up just having Clinton get an item. Um, yeah, too bad they can't just straight up jump over that. Oh, well. I might, depending on how they move. Um, if you want to know how the enemy moves, um, oh, you know what? I never actually showed their stats. Yeah, their stats aren't super high because obviously this is the first level of the game, so nothing too crazy. Got the bandit, got the hunter. Um, yeah, hunters have low, de uh, so like one hit from Ash, maybe and Clint will just kill them outright. Um, yeah, I might end up healing with Clint after this. Um, and then Zood obviously is gonna have. No, it starts it much better. I don't know why it really... Sh I mean, I guess it shows the equipment for the purposes of, like, just showing it. But you c it's not like you can steal in this game. Although I wish they there was a feature like that, but maybe they were going to, but they decided to cut that feature out or whatever. Um, and you know, like most bosses, he has self-healing. I don't know if every boss has that, but yeah, he can... Um, it's kind of weird how stat-wise he's not that much better than his cohorts. He's just He just has the spell. But I think it's because they didn't want us to, like, get... Uh, destroyed like right at the beginning of the game by having like a super boss or whatever. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and heal with Ash. The only problem with with healing and stuff like that is I can't um, I can't set my like facing. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Uh, like as soon as you do it, the turn his uh, his turn ends. I can't like oh now I'm gonna move him this way. So yeah, this game has a few flaws in it when it comes to like. Um, how it's set up, but yeah, okay, okay. the luckily they shouldn't do enough damage to kill him. I think. Yeah, I'll probably just have Clint run away. Now, I'm not completely against healing Clint with an herb, um, because you do get experience for healing. It's like a Sayuki or other games where if you just spend a turn like healing, you're gonna um, um, you're gonna get experience. That's usually why I want Ash to go first, or sorry, to get hit more often, because then you can just heal the wounds and get experience for that. Um, Ash will probably end up getting the most experience out of all the characters uh, in the game, uh, for the most part. Might as well have uh, Diego take out the, or work on the hunters, just because they're never gonna get close enough and they're gonna just be annoying. Oh yeah, uh, oh that's right, because of, yeah, this game also has like height differences and stuff like that. And you can slightly get more range if you're at a, a higher height, and you can also get more damage at a higher height as well. Um, yeah, I think Clint should be able to survive those attacks. Because they're probably going to target him out of everyone else. So Usually this fight would go by like super quickly, but like I said, I'm trying to like show off just the mechanics and everything like that. Yeah, he's got, he'll take one more hit, and then, but by that time he'll be out of range. Um, Yeah, let him take the hit so he can survive Zookatch's attack. Okay, I did not expect the bandit to do that. Hmm. Well, usually what will happen is Zoot and him will just bottle up neck there for whatever reason. Um, I guess it's not always guaranteed to not do that. So, okay, well, that'll change the strategy slightly more by this point. I'll just have to move... Uh, because then you could just have Zoot and the Thief, like, get up here, and then Ash could just start wrecking them. But that's fine. Maybe if I move these guys, they'll start moving back up. Ash should be about... Um, this is one of those games where as soon as you hit, like, a uh, 100, you gain a level. Um, so, yeah, as you can see there, he's about almost about to uh, gain a level. Uh, this game also has, like, little things like playing percentages and stuff like that. Um... I'm not 100% sure what those actually... I think it might be movement differentials or some of that, because I don't think it has anything to do with the defense, you know. But, anyway. At least, I don't know every single little detail of this game. I know a lot of it, but not everything. That would be up. He's going around, so I might have to actually heal uh, um, Clint. Uh, well, Ash can take that guy out by himself, so I'm probably just going to have Diego follow and help. Yeah, uh, Zoot's doing... It's kind of... I, I didn't actually expect him to... Uh, and we get the Mad Book for that. 
The mad book is, uh, okay, one thing, when you examine a thing, if you find something, it doesn't automatically end your turn, interesting enough. You can actually go ahead and move and do something, so. Um, yeah, Zoot's probably going to end up attacking me, so. In this case, I will use an herb. Um, but yeah, you can easily do this map without doing uh, using an herb, too. And like I said, it's not going to break the bank in terms of money, so I'm not that worried about it. Um. But yeah, usually you want Ash to uh, to tank Zoot because of the whole I can heal and all this other stuff, so. Oh well. Actually, you probably don't want Zoot to backstab uh, Ash, so. Um. Let's go ahead and speak in there. Oh, wait, uh. Well. <laughs> Okay, right. Clint shouldn't be able to finish him off, but I'll probably go ahead and just have Ash finish off the thief there. Or Brigand, sorry. Because, like I said, I want to make sure everyone's dead before before Zoot dies, otherwise I lose out on all the exp uh, all the money. So, Well, it's 100 gold, but still. Um, oh, the Mad Book, what that does, if used as an item, it casts a spell Hold on an opponent. Um, as far as I know, it's not guaranteed... Which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, there. Are, this game also has status afflicting spells that aren't guaranteed yet, which I guess are good for if the enemy wants to do that. I don't remember the boss, or I don't remember enemies casting status afflicting spells that often. Interesting enough. Oh yeah, he has a little. I think all characters have something like that where they make like a weird noise when they attack you. Uh, but yeah, Zoot's like, you know. Um, at least the benefit of having Clint beat. Uh, Zoot is he'll get the experience. Um, it just means I had to use an herb to do it, but hey. Alright, and all gains level, he's level 5 now. Oh wait, R Diego. Why did I call him Rinald? Oh, that's his, la that's his last name. I don't know why I said that. Oh, uh, I almost ended the turn. Yeah, Ash isn't going to get there in time, but that's fine. He gained a level anyway. He's actually over leveled for, well, you know what I mean. He's higher level than everyone else is. Uh, but you kind of want to... Ash is your main character. If Ash dies, the, the fight's over. So you kind of want to have Ash be the... Uh, uh, let's see, he does... He should be able to finish him off. The only problem with this game is that because of the ability of the enemy to s somehow block attacks, um, it's not always 100% guaranteed. Because uh, Zoot can block me if I hit from here, here, or here. Um, not guaranteed. I think if you hit him from the front, he's more likely to block on the sides. Um... But if you attack in the back, obviously you can't block at all. Hopefully you finish the Yep. All right. Oh, don't kill me. I'll play with you. Yay. Oh, and well, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do this, but yeah, everyone gained a level. Sweet. I just had to use an herb to do it, but hey. Herbs only cost like uh, 20 gold or something like that, I think. I'll have to remember. Yeah, if you, uh, like I said, if you do miss an enemy and miss on some gold, it... It, depending on what fight it is, it's probably not going to be the end of the world, but it's strongly suggested that you get as much money as you can because of just if you want to keep everyone uh, equipped at all points in the game because that is a major difference is keeping everyone uh, equipment ready to go and everything like that. That should teach you guys a... Huh? It's you! I knew I'd seen you before. Zoot Gatch. What? The same Zoot Catch that we threw in jail just two months ago? Yep, same boathead grin. Don't you recognize him? The pleasure's is all mine. Wait a minute. Only two months he's already out? He must have busted out. True. And I don't think for a minute that this... Oh, yeah, you can see the... See? Even their little um, uh, things change every once in a while. Like, there's uh, ashes being uh, pensive or sad or whatever, you know, in this case. So, yeah, they'll change it up. Like, unlike other games, well, they'll just have, like, a, a facial thing, and that's it. Like, a picture, and that'll be it for the rest of the game. I don't know, I just, this game already has a lot of charm to it already. Losers will, loser would be able to break himself out of prison. Stays in, st <laughs> stays in stone, but break your bones. But don't call me me, man, because my friends won't forget about me. <laughs> what does that mean? Answer me. Oh, the, the, I'm just right mumbling. I think I get it. Hmm? Dot, dot, dot. Bandits have shut off all trade in this valley. Whoever freed him is probably reaping huge black market profits. A crooked politician or mer a merchant pulling strings. So what else is new? Ugh, that burns me up. Should I put an arrow in him right now, Ash? No, stop! <laughs> Hold it, Diego. Killing this flea is no answer. 
Our job is finished. Let's go back to Samaria. Funny how we kill the rest of his friends, but we don't kill Zoot. Huh. No, nah, because they're just generic thieves. We don't actually care on that, so. Yeah, with Zoot Gatch capture, it's time to go to capital Samaria and turn him in over the big bosses and see what's going on. But what is going on in, in Shumeria? Are things as good as they always say uh, after the war 15 years ago? Or are things starting to take a dark turn? Find out next time in the next episode of Vandal Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.